What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Everything TV Handsome, coming at you with day. I think it's day three. Yeah, day three. I'm on day four, but this is a day three video. Remember, I'm always staying ahead one day and then leaving you guys, and giving you guys my previous day experience. So, my day three was pretty pretty good. Um, a lot better than day two and day one. I think I'm able to manage the um, stream kitties here always. I'm able to manage the hunger cravings. They're really bad, I would say, at night. The hunger pain, like it's really bad at night. But during the day, it's it's pretty good. Uh, my typical meal, I believe, for breakfast. I don't know what I had for breakfast yesterday. Um, I think I I might have had a sat went straight to salad. I'm not too sure what I had for breakfast yesterday, but. We'll just leave it at that. But I did have a spinach salad again with bacon. I've been doing spinach for every day. Every day I've been doing spinach for lunch and for dinner. And for dinner yesterday, I believe we had a spinach salad salad as well. I think, right? What we have for what did I have for dinner yesterday? I think I had chicken and rice. Spinach and salad. See, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't really remember. And a pro not a protein drink, but like a, a fruit mix drink with my oh yeah, banana pineapples pineapple juice or banana strawberry spinach and pineapple juice is what was in the drink so that, that was actually really good my wife made it shout out to her um but it, it went pretty good um you know you might be able to hear that thundering it's raining as i'm speaking about my weight loss um but it, it's been pretty good like i said the only issues i'm running into are uh nighttime cravings that's it but everything else has been fine um so like me eating so much spinach, I'm actually kind of nervous now because... Oh my god, if you guys want to see what I'm seeing. But anyways, I've been reading up on spinach. And spinach has a lot of beneficial stuff. But one thing I didn't realize is that spinach takes iron from the body and use oxalates to create kidney stones. Now, I just started reading this. And pretty much what spinach does, one of the bad things about spinach, because I've been eating spinach all day and i actually been considering doing an only spinach diet where I literally just eat spinach even if it's in a blended form but spinach takes iron from the body and it takes nutritions and it creates um oxalates which are kidney stones and it can give you kidney issues if you eat too much spinach because it gives you an iron deficiency supposedly it sucks iron from your body i'll do more research on it but i have watched a couple videos and it's actually freaking me out right it's like the only thing that i find that is good it's it and it freaking it freaking has kidney stones. I don't want to be pissed out no kidney stones. I mean, I don't think anybody does. But one way I've heard that you can get rid of the like oxalates from the spinach is to cook it, right? But if you cook spinach, right, you lose half of the, the nutrition. Like you lose if you burn it, if you cook it too much, right, and and you fry it kind of, you lose a lot of the nutrition. I just learned that today by doing some research on YouTube that you lose a lot of the nutritious value when you fry the spinach or deep cook it or, or burn it for too long you lose a lot of nutritional value but you don't get the oxalates in the spinach where it takes the iron and, and the calcium it takes the calcium from your body too and creates kidney stones in your kidney so it's like a win-win with that I mean I, I love the way spinach tastes right so it would be me who finds the perfect food and, and it you know this is what happens but another alternative I might be having is kale now I I'm I'm a big fan of kale. I've I've done only kale, uh, you know, challenges before, where I only you know uh, have a smoothie with kale, green apples, cucumbers, lemon, and all that stuff. So I might have to switch, all like alternate it between kale and spinach. But I don't know how spinach doesn't. It's the most moist and dense fruit out there. But I don't know or vegetable. But I don't know how it would taste in a salad. So I'm gonna have to figure that out because kale is actually really good for you and it doesn't have any of the you know the oxidating materials or you know specifications that the spinach has so we'll have to look into that do my research on that but you know day three was amazing i, I did great i feel good you know i get real cranky though I, i'm not gonna lie like i feel like at times like my my like my moodiness is just like fastly triggered because i'm hungry and i'm seeking something but it's starting to get a little bit better i feel it's day day three i'm on day four and you know we'll talk about day four on day five but you know i'm feeling great um and a lot more motivated to actually get up maybe and do things you know but i'm now i'm going to start introducing a little bit of uh, exercise in and see if i can if i can throw that into the equation 
Um, we did get a new camera as well. That's why you guys are seeing a new angle. I'm not sitting at my desk, so that's a big plus. So hopefully we can bring you guys some more of that. Also, things that we're going to be doing on the channel as well. After this video probably updates, I will be going live on YouTube. And what I'm going to be doing on that is I'm going to be uh, streaming me on my um, treadmill. Actually just jogging and you know shooting stuff with you guys for a little bit. And bringing that live so we all can experience that together. Because, I mean, my, my goal here is a year from now, even day 90, that you're going to be looking at me through the same camera watching these videos. And you're going to be able to compare day 1 to day 90, 90 Lewis. And... With that being said, this is going to be a big difference, right? You're going to see a, a very big improvement, and I, I'm pretty committed. Um, you know, I've, I've I've started trying to do these things before, and I've always dropped out. Like it just never worked. You know, I just wasn't really committed. But I feel like I'm really, really, really committed now. Uh, I got some good friends that are helping me out. Shout out to DJ. You can check him out. Uh, Blast Nameless is his YouTube and uh, Twitch channel. I'll leave a link in the description. And my good friend Premier Pools over or David over at Premier Pools who are helping me out as well, um, giving me motivation, and you know, I'm helping them out too. They're making a little bit of life you know, choices themselves, eating the salad, and you know, they're getting the pictures, so shout out to them. And the, I wanted to expand. Uh, once again, I will leave my Discord in the description so that anybody who is going on this journey can go check out the Discord and tag along with us. My wife is going through this journey with me as well. She's literally eating the exact same thing I'm eating. Um, except she's not as she's not as restricted as I am. She's not almost 300 pounds like me. So she's but she's going through all the same things I'm going through. And do keep in mind we are, we are parents. So you know for people who are struggling, you know to lose weight and they have kids and they have jobs and they have lives and they're like I don't have time for the gym. I don't have money for this. I don't have that for this. I'm doing all this with five children and a wife. So it's it's just very possible. I don't want you guys to think that it's impossible. Or improbable because you can definitely do these things uh, I'm kind of doing the numbers um, my wife handles all the shopping but I <laughs> I see what you know she buys and the organic spinach is always go organic as well because you don't want the pesticides from overseas and all that nasty stuff but the organic spinach I believe is about four dollars for about uh, for, for a whole box and that can create probably four salads right so and then you get your croutons which lasts about two, two to three salads, depending on how you use it, your peppers and all your condiments. You're looking at a salad that's gonna cost you to make at home, maybe about at most a dollar, at most a dollar, because you're gonna spread it out over you know, a couple of days. It's not like you're gonna eat all at once, as compared to when you go to McDonald's or Burger King or Chick fil A or anywhere else and you get these salads and they're costing you six bucks. So it, it is very possible. To, to to maintain that and eat that. People like to use that as an excuse. Oh, well, I don't have the money to go out and eat healthy. Well, it's not as, as expensive as you think. If you're if you're as big as me, right, 300 pounds, and you're you're eating money essentially, right? Because that pizza costs you money. That that Kentucky Fried Chicken has you cost you money. And then you say, oh, I don't have time to to cook a salad when I come home. The kids are crazy. You have time. You got to just be more motivated and be committed to it and you can definitely do it you know it takes me it takes me to whip up a salad for four people five people two minutes at best two minutes to whip up a salad you know so let's you know let's let's not make no excuses you know um it's very possible i'm doing it and i'm committed to doing it i'm hoping that i can be committed long term into doing this longer you know i, I am trying to 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 make these improvements and changes but I mean, it's it's gonna be tough, you know. I mean, I feel good. It's right now probably about three o'clock or something. I'm not sure of the time. Uh, I got some some uh, chicken in the crock pot, which a whole pound of chicken cost me six, seven bucks, and I've already used that seven pound chicken already probably twice for two meals for a family of five and for myself. See, my kids will eat the chicken with the with the mashed potatoes, the, the macaroni and the rice or whatever, and I'll just eat the chicken. That's it. You see, so it's it's very cost effective, and um, that's what I'm having today. I'm having crock pot chicken with red potatoes. I know red potatoes probably aren't the best thing, but it's better than mashed potatoes, and they give me a little bit of starch, you know, and fiber essentially. Um, so you know, it's very possible. I'm going through it. It's tough. Um, it's not. It's getting better. I can say that. Like today, 
I've been, you know, chill and laid down. You know, day three, I was, you know, up doing things, but like, you know, a little bit frustrated at times, like not being able to control it. Just, you know, oh, leave me alone, I'm an ogre. I don't want to do nothing, leave me the hell alone, you know, but, you know, everything is going good and uh, we all can do this together, guys. So I want you all to tell yourselves that you guys can do it. Day three is in the bag, you know, we got this. I'm really tempted to see, not tempted, but really curious to see where we're at 30 days at least. So, you know, we're all one week down almost three to go it happens like this so the, the the biggest step is making is taking the step the biggest step is taking the step and and moving forward from there whether you fail or you succeed 